That's what you get. This video is brought to you by TacticalPOVStore.com. TacticalPOVStore.com. Guys, I'm so excited to tell you about this, man. I've, I've finally, finally, finally got my online store up and going. And let me show you exactly what I am talking about with my new product line, everything else apparel, man. I am so geeked up about this, seriously. It took me a while to get this thing right. So I'm still adding more material or I should say more products here. As you see with my logo here, you see my traditional logo here. That's my classic one, the red and gold, my original, of course. And I've got this in different color variations as well, too. If you uh, look at my other colors that I have, too, I also have it here in black and silver, black and red. And I do have it in black and gold as well. I also have it in black and gold. Okay. I had to do a black and gold because I'm a Steelers fan. Steeler Nation Unite. So, of course, I had to do that. Of course. I've also got drinkware as well, too, with some of my slogans, too. As you see, I'm adding new ones as it goes. So, mugs, uh, printed glass, uh, tumblers. Wine tumblers, man. It, it's it's all there. Go check it out, guys. Seriously, it's tacticalpovstore.com. Tacticalpovstore.com. Put in code TPOV20 and get 20% off on my store. It's good. The offer ends August 31st, the end of the month. Okay. So you get 20% off right now if you put in a code TPOV20. That's TPOV20. You get 20% off everything in the store. What I got going on, I also got uh, ladies apparel too. So I got leggings, sport bras. So ladies, if you're watching this video, go check it out. I appreciate the support so much from my channel. Thank you so much, guys. And if you get anything out of this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to do that too. But uh, let me get to the crust of what this thing is all about here. And I know the story was out here a week ago. I've been trying to slow down and uh, between everything else that I've been doing here, working on my store here every single night, <clears throat> adding more product and some other stuff here going on with my thing here with my channel. Um, I, I got to talk about this, man, because... You know, guys, here are my channels, which you hear for, you understand, you subscribe to. Yes, I am a thousand percent supporter of the Second Amendment. Always am. And I am always a huge advocate for people defending themselves, especially women. Okay. Using armed and unarmed self-defense either way. Either way, it's just I'm all about self-defense stuff. I always have been forever since I was a child. I always believed in it. Okay. And even more so now in my grown years, my getting old too. But. This story you've heard about, uh, I believe, out in California. I think it's L.A., I believe, somewhere in L.A. or something like that. I know it's in California. But the 80 old man that defended himself. Now, I got to talk about this because I'm going to show you my reaction to this thing, man, because this is awesome. So I'm going to show you two different cuts here. And you tell me which one you prefer here. All right, let's hear, let's hear what... Uh, what is this? ABC7 out here in L.A. Let's see what he's got. Inside a Norco liquor store, a would-be robber coming through the door, pointing, pointing a gun, the store owner waiting with his own firearm, shooting that would-be robber. Eyewitness News reporter Jessica Denova tells us what happened next. I'm just relieved. I'm relieved. Employees at the Norco market say they can work in peace after hearing the suspects behind this attempted armed robbery early Sunday morning are in custody of the Riverside County Sheriff's Department. The hours leading up to the arrest tormenting. Every time the buzzer go up, goes off, it's scary because you don't know who's at the door. Workers and customers praising the owner of the business, Craig, for his quick action. What if he wouldn't have been as quick as he was? You know, it could have been him. Craig is recovering from a heart attack, but living after this blood pumping scene. The sheriff's warned us that this had been going on in the area recently and to just be on your toes, you know, so he was on his toes. <laughs> 
workers here say the owner saw it in the monitors, the SUV back in, men in masks with firearms step out. He just prepared himself, you know, he always, he's always prepared as far as like weapons go. Surveillance video shows one of the suspects enter the store armed, the owner ready with a shotgun. <laughs> Following a single blast from the owner's firearm, cameras outside capture the suspect's frantic screaming. The driver taking off in such a hurry, the group almost leaves one person behind. Once he saw that they were gone, that's, he started to feel pain, chest pain. Monday afternoon, Eyewitness News gave Craig and people at this store the update from deputies. They found the four suspects, one of them hospitalized with shotgun wounds, earning the owner here a new nickname. Quick Drama McGraw. That's his name for me now. <laughs> And we're also told that that SUV they were in is stolen and was filled with stolen firearms. Report. All right. I got two. Uh... <laughs> oh, man. I, you know what? And I got another view. I got another cut of this, though. But this time, is, there's no uh, uh, news commentary on this one here. This one is, I believe, uh, pulled down from the surveillance cameras here. Let me pull this one up here. <laughs> and, man. Ah. Uh... I'm going to try to cut some of the time down. It's like a minute 30 or something like that. So they had to gut, cut through two different scenes on here for the security cam. But um, I definitely got to pull this up, man. This I, I'd rather show this one here. Like I said, this is raw. I guess the uh, just a surveillance cut. Though. So let's uh, let's see what he's got. To Download here. the ABC yep. 7 Los Angeles. Oops. That's the wrong one there. That is. Uh, let's get rid of that. Surprise, motherfucker. Let me see if I can speed up. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna try to speed up too. So let's speed up right here. Okay. Wait, 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 hear him scream. <laughs> oh, I can't help it. I can't help it. It's too funny. It's too funny. I'm sorry. I mean, it's funny. You know what? <laughs> it, it's like, you know what? My thing is this, man. Let me, <laughs> oh, let me back out of that. I swear to you, dude. First of all, let me clarify this, okay? Understand this about me. I absolutely despise a thief. I despise a thief like you wouldn't believe, man. Seriously. I have no problem with anyone stomping someone's guts out for stealing. I have no problem with that. I've always hated it. I've hated it since I was a kid. I hate it now as a grown adult. And it would it will never change for me. Never. I will never change my mind about that. Seriously. I cannot stand a thief. Period. At all. I can't stand him. God, I can't. I can't even really put into words how much I absolutely, I absolutely just I have a distinct hatred for thieves, man. I, I can't put it into words how much I can't stand a thief at all. And uh, for a, and this on top of the fact that this dude attempted to take somebody else's life in an armed robbery right here, man, just to steal him. Just like, he got exactly what he deserved. He's screaming, he shot his arm off. I'm going to tell you something, partner. You ought to feel lucky that that's all he shot was your arm instead of taking your head off. Okay. If he'd have blown his head off, I would have I st I had a problem with it at all, you know, because he got what he deserved. I can't stand a thief, man. God almighty, I can't stand a thief. But this is what happens, okay? And shout out to Craig for defending himself, being aware. He saw that on his cameras, monitors right there. He knew what time it was. He grabbed his weapon, defended himself, man. But I am going to do a, a, another deal on here because there's an interview about this that they did i have not had a chance to uh pull it up yet so but i am going to come back to this uh most likely i might do that in live 
or something like that and uh, bring this up and hear what he has to say. But, guys, that's it, man. That's it for the video. I appreciate you guys hanging out, watching this here because I'm sitting here looking at this on my monitor here. I need to practice looking more into the camera. But, guys, like I said, hey, protect yourself, man. Seriously, stop listening to gun-grabbing politicians. And I say gun-grabbing politicians because I know who does it the most is on the left, but you also have some anti-gun rhinos as well, okay? Some anti-Second Amendment Republicans, man. And you know me, as I said, I don't support parties. I don't support Democrats, nor Republicans. I support principles, okay? Parties have agendas. Do what's best for the party, no matter how much they screw over the, us, the American people, law-abiding citizens, okay? Yeah, I, I Definitely don't like Democrat politicians, none whatsoever. And Republicans, too, just absolutely piss me off like you wouldn't believe. So that that one might be another topic or something I might do on a live here, too. And just uh, not only talk about anything as far as the Second Amendment is involved or, you know, self-defense and uh, my reaction to other videos and stuff like that. I, I, I might do that on a live, man, just to get a lot of stuff off my chest because I've got a lot of stuff boiling. I'm sure you do, too, as well. So I will post it when I do live here and uh, try to get back into doing them mostly. I, I got some changes to my system, so I should be able to do it uh, a little bit more consistent. I, I tried to do it before, but I had some problems, so I, I think I got it worked out. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, leave a comment in below. Man, what do you think about this here? I know if you guys seen on everybody else's stuff, I know you have. I have to myself and watched it. I just had to do my reaction to this thing because when I saw it, I, I'm still laughing over it. I'm not faking this laugh. This is for real how I get, man. When I see this, when I see people defend themselves, man, I get, I get so excited to see this. When I see videos like that, you know, when I see people deciding not to be a victim and people are more and more stepping up, understanding that with all of the BS rhetoric, man, about defunding the police, man, throwing policemen under the bus, you know, basically bunching them all up into a, into a group of all bad apples, which we know they're not all that way. It's just a few bad apples in the bunch. We know the majority of police officers are not like this and they get thrown like this. It just basically, just basically dogged, man. Over, and they got to put up with this too. You see him resign and retire. And people are waking up, man. They are waking up and understanding that I'm not going to be a victim. You know, the more people, the more police officers that are retiring and resigning, and none, and you're not getting hardly any more new recruits. Okay, this is the thing. You are the first responder, people. I've said this forever. Jimmy Carter was the one who coined that crap, man. Peanut picking idiot. I'm, I'm gonna get political here. I'm gonna start ranting on this clown dude, same way. But he's the one who coined that crap, first responders. So basically, don't do anything. Wait for first responders to get there in order to handle the situation. It's like, partner, you're the first responder, okay? It's happening to you right now. So I guess you need to respond. So guess who's first at it? You. Take care of yourself. Defend yourself. Train. Get more training. Practice. All right. I say it over and over. I'm gonna sound like a broken record. And I don't care because it all holds true. So anyway, guys, take it easy, man. I will see you on the next one. And as always, you are responsible for your own safety.